Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like the clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. Coming to you live from my Seattle apartment basement that's in Alberta. That's not an apartment. <laughs> Anyways, um, I got some picks for you. I got the picks for you today for the playoffs, NHL playoff picks. I haven't been posting the last little bit because I, it's when I feel like at a clock, and I was super busy. So I'm going to go over some of the picks that I made a mistake on, what I learned from it, and we're going to look at the picks for um, Wednesday, June 2nd. Cool games here. Montreal versus Winnipeg. Uh, first game of the series. Vegas versus Colorado after Colorado went and got, uh, I gave uh, Vegas uh, a hard time. We had to bring Vegas. We had a Perlocopter, all the Vegas players over to the Perlos house of spanking. Uh, and uh, so they're all, they're all ready to go now. They should be ready to go. So we'll talk about that. And uh, yeah, Perlos house of spanking. It's the best there. I said, you might want to come down sometime. Make a reservation. It uh, helps you in your helps you get over all your your um, disappointments. It does. Um, maybe also you can go over to uh, Chinky's House of uh, uh, Yoga and Pilates in the back. There we do uh, the Perlo dance. Per, uh, teach people how to do the Perlo dance. Dance lessons. Perlo dance lessons. You might want to do that. It's fun too. Uh, Avatar and uh, Hockey News Reports, all the guys that are in my show from 3 to 5 Eastern, five days a week. Uh, Joey Serrano, they're all there. You, you go there and uh, they're all there. Bill T, oh, I'll tell you, Bill T knows how to drop a Perlo dance. Let me tell you that right now. Okay, let's look at our picks for June 2nd, as you can see in the background here. Uh, Montreal versus Winnipeg. Um, I uh, I made a mistake in the last time I did a video for you guys, and I took uh, Vegas. By the way, if you want all my picks, just head over to the Patreon. Just tell me in the comment section. I'd like to be a Patreon member. Uh, I'll give you a free month. You can check it out. See if you like it. I'm just nailing French ten French Open tennis picks right now. Like nailing, nailing, nailing. People making big scratch. But so you go over there. It's not just hockey. We also have baseball picks. And if you get in now, you'll never pay more than you do now. Next month, next year's play, when hockey starts next year, the price will go up. Uh, but yours never will. As long as you get in, we have people there that are paying way lower because they've been there for two, three years. So it never goes up for you. So go check it out. Uh, Montreal versus Winnipeg. Yeah, I made the mistake because Vegas. Just finished a seven-game series. It's actually a really bad mistake, honestly. I dropped the ball big time, and I'm really sorry. Vegas uh, had played seven-game series, had only two days off, came back, and had to play Colorado. And I don't know what I was thinking that Vegas would keep that close. I had them on the PL. Also, I was not aware that Laner was going to be in net, and I had a very busy day. And one of the few days that I didn't check my – goaltenders and all that kind of stuff like that. And next thing I know, I'm watching the game going, oh my gosh, Laner's in. If I would have known Laner was in, I wouldn't have picked him. I, it's not that I don't like Laner. He's just coming in cold. And I kind of get what the coach is doing there. It's almost like he's saying, we're probably going to drop this one anyways. Let's give Flurry a break and then we'll run at her after this. That's pretty much what he was saying there. Uh, so anyways, when the, going to this series, first of all, the series, I'll tell you real quick. I think Winnipeg will probably pull it out in seven. I like their overall forward depth way better than Montreal's forward depth. And that's really the reason. However, I do like Montreal's defense better than Winnipeg's defense. Goaltending is sort of a wash. We'll see. Price is an unbelievable playoff goaltender, as we all know. Whenever he can do whatever in the regular season, but he crushes in the playoffs, which he did in Toronto. And was the main reason why they beat Toronto. Winnipeg, as well, played Edmonton. I mean, uh, the fa Edmonton probably was going to lose that series, but four straight was because of Hellebuck, mostly. He was incredible. So, Hellebuck has had problems in the playoffs, but it doesn't look like he has it now. So, I'm going to kind of... I'm going to lean to Winnipeg's overall depth to take 
Montreal in the series if you want to do a feature on that in seven. Now this game though, sort of the same situation we had in um, Vegas, but this time I'm not going to make the same mistake. Montreal just played an emotional game seven series, uh, games, emotional series where they won in game seven two days ago. They got to travel from, uh, they had to travel from Toronto, wasn't it? Yeah, Toronto to Winnipeg, which isn't a huge flight, but it's still a travel. Get themselves all situated and be crushing it again for this game. Winnipeg, as we saw with Colorado, with the break, yes, okay, there could be some rust, but I think in the way the season has gone, rest wins over any rust. It's happened over and over and over in the regular season, and we've seen it over and over and over again. So I'm going with Winnipeg in this game on the money line. Uh, I just, I, I almost want to go in reg. If you want to get real gambly, go in reg here. Because I think it's possible they could do it in reg. I just, when Munch, when Carey Price is in net, I don't really like the in reg all that much, as, as much as I do like the ML quite a bit. So I'll play it safe, because that's what I do. I'll take Winnipeg, ML. As far as the over-under is concerned, it's a little difficult to tell here. I would have a lesser bet for sure. Um, as we saw in the Colorado series, if Montreal is as tired as Vegas looked, Winnipeg could really manhandle them. This could be a, a blowout. I, I, however, think Price is better than Laner by quite a bit and will, could, will likely keep this lower. I think Winnipeg will outshoot them. They'll have a little frustration trying to get pucks past uh, uh, Price and it'll end up being like a 3-1, 4-1, something like that. Something like that. That's why I said it's possible to be in right. But it could very well be like 2-1. If Price is, Price is playing that good, um, it could even go to overtime. He's playing that good. So um, I'm going to lean the under here, especially at, I believe you're getting one, uh, you're giving up no juice hardly at all. So, um, oh no, it's changed. It's 173. Okay, that's the next game. 173. If you go to, uh, Pinnacle, you can get 174. Oh, look at this. They're only giving you 167 there. Um, yeah, so anyways, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, thanks for your subscriptions to the channel, all of you. Thank you that are subscribing and uh, hitting the bell for notifications to get this fine programming over and over again. Uh, I will be doing videos, not necessarily you know, betting related um, over the summer. I'll be doing lives and all that kind of stuff like that. So if you want to be part of that fine frolic, oh my gosh, it's fun. You will enjoy it. Hit the bell. Thank you very much for that. Uh, also, if you want my picks all the time, head over to my Patreon. Uh, just ask me in the comment section. I'll give you the link. I'll give you a free month. Right now we're hitting tennis picks like crazy. We don't just do hockey. But if you get in now, uh, take the $25 package, or any of them for that matter. I'll give you a free month if you take the $25 a month package. <clears throat> any of them, you will get that price forever. However, it, I ra it raises every year. It goes up every year. But if you're in and you stay, you never get any higher than whatever you get in at. So Vegas versus Colorado. We'll go to that game now. Now, Vegas, of course, we had to bring them. They had to go get the Pearlocopters out. And uh, uh, by the way, if you hit the subscription, you know you get your uh, Pearls of Wisdom necklace Pearlocopter to your door. Um, we, uh, we went and got the Vegas guys, brought them over to the house of Spank, and they got all set up there. They should be rocking this game, rocking. Um, well, you should do that too, you know. Yeah, go, go get yourself a, a reservation. If you're having a rough time or making some mistakes in life, set you straight, set you straight. And you can also um, go to the back at uh, right, beside, right beside us in the same building is uh, Chinky's House of Yoga and uh, Pilates. In the back, we do Perlo dance instruction. I tell you, you can go 
learn how to do this. Avatar, Joey Serrano, Bill T, Hockey New HNR, those guys that are in my show from three to five, they go there, they'll be there. And you can they'll show you. They'll show you how to do it. Uh Serrano is getting so good, man. Woo! Uh Colorado over versus Vegas. I'm taking Vegas here on the puck line. I think I'm gonna go the spread at 163, which is what I did last time. But this time they have two days rest. Uh two full days rest. Uh Flurry will be in net. Um I'm starting to lean Colorado for the series now, and you know, I picked Vegas to start out with, but flip flopping, not good, but I'm still think Vegas will at least keep this close with Flurry and Net. They're gonna be putting all I think they're gonna have all everything they got into this game. Seriously. They're gonna put everything they have into this game. Uh try to put Colorado back on their heels early. Uh, they'll have a, a little more time to look at the tape and see what they can do against Colorado, how they can uh, kind of change the way they attack because Colorado really had them down pat. Uh, they're going to have to probably change things up. I think they will. DeBoer is a good coach. He'll get some X's and O's going, and I think Vegas may even win this game, but I'm going to take it, like I said, on the cautious side, and I'm going to go Vegas. Um, puck line. I'm not really big on the juice, juice with Colorado on the money line, although you can get 157 on bet online. That's not too bad. Um, and like I said, I think it's, I'd rather take, give up less juice and take Vegas puck line. Now, as far, I think I'm going to go the under here too with Flurry in, uh, Groove Hour playing really well. Vegas changing things up a little bit. Vegas can play both ways. They can play a really good trap system if they put it in there. And I have a feeling they may do something of that nature here in this game. Change it up a little bit. If they do, this will be an under. Uh, something that you might want to look at is a live bet. If you see Vegas playing a 1-2-2 two, two, a, a, a two, two and uh, or something like that, I would put a live bet on the under here. But right now I'm going to go the under for a little less money because these guys both have enough players enough shots enough scoring scores to put this over as well so it's not my best bet but if you're if you're leaning that way i'm with you under okay that's my full 42 thank you for coming in and listening to this fine programming have a great day everybody okay bye